Akila Harun Ali is a local fashion blogger with an international perspective, and Michelle met up with her in the Mother City. Akila Harun is one of those rare fashion bloggers who always has something worthwhile to say. Although she's based in Cape Town, she's quite comfortable making a quick trip to London to see what's trending. And then flying back to experiment with her own creative take on fashion finery with a bohemian touch. A lover of leather, words and travel, Akila Haran has created an online canvas where she shares her inspiration, thoughts and creativity. Now Mela has been invited along to spend the day with this fashionable blogger. Akila's office may be portable, but there's nothing casual about her approach. She's got an eye for detail, and whether it's an image, a word, or an accessory, it has to be perfect. Akila, hello. Hi, how are you? Good, and yourself? I'm good, I'm good. Hard at work, this is the great thing. Your office can be anywhere. Yes, it's a good thing, and it's sometimes a bad thing because I have to be very disciplined and draw the fine line between my blog being a hobby and my job because, of course, it was a hobby that became my job. Growing up, did you always imagine that this is what you'd be doing? I always knew that I wanted to be in an environment that could kind of be fluid and flexible. That's why I was definitely very arty. I love design. I always loved fashion and beauty, but I always wanted to do something where at some point I could be freelance. I had the novelty of having my mom at home, but I also, like, I'm someone that I, I have to be doing something. Well, what were you like as a child? I was very dramatic. Everything was over the top, and I, to be honest, I think I'm a grown-up version of my child self. Even now, when I feel something, I feel it very deeply, whether it's happiness or sadness or stress, everything is very heightened. So I have some really high highs and it's great. Akila, what does fashion mean to you? It's really an extension of my personality. I find that I've like, incorporated it in everything that I've done. And it's really something that I love having fun with. I feel a lot more confident when I'm all dressed up. And the only thing that's really the commonality that goes through it is that I'm a modest dresser, but then that could still translate into being a tomboy or bohemian or like very really classic and then just sometimes completely over the top. How would a day typically unfold in the life of Akila Haran? No two days are the same for me, like literally ever. One day it might be shooting something or might be back-to-back -back meetings and sometimes they're on like far ends of Cape Town because you know the thing with being a freelancer is that your one client doesn't know about your other client doesn't know about your personal projects doesn't know about your personal life so you have to like really balance all of those things. Well today we get a behind the scenes peek at what you do what can we expect? Lisa and I are gonna shoot this outfit that I'm wearing right now and we actually have to get to it straight away because light is everything. Oh well the light is very important let's get to it. Michelle. Lisa, nice to meet Pleased you. Pleased to meet you. I see you all ready, set up. Definitely. Light's very good. <laughs> well, I brought the model. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Turn to the left and just raise your head a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. That is the one. She's got it. <laughs> What's it like working with Akila and photographing her? It's very easy. It doesn't feel like a job when we're shooting together. We've been friends for, for the last few years and we just have good chemistry together and we both have a good sense of humor, so it's always fun. <laughs> well, you know what's so great? Your chemistry is on key, which translates to the photographs. Now that the photographs are taken, what's the next step? Lisa goes home, she edits it, sends it back to me, and then I put it all together in a blog post with my accompanying text and that's it. So I've got one more thing to show you guys, and that's a wrap, Lisa. Perfect. It's a wrap, Lisa. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Akila considers research and integrity to be as important as having an eye for style and quality. Okay, so Michelle, I have to show you my two latest ventures. The first one is Yours Leather. I'm doing it in partnership with my husband. The second venture we just launched the other day is Lashes by Fashion Read. From blogger to businesswoman, how have you transitioned into this new role? It's been really exciting to grow with my brand and that's why when people ask me, where do you see yourself in five or 10 years? I have no idea because my plans have never worked out. 
um, but I didn't want to ever stop going. What advice do you have for all those aspiring to be where you are right now? If you're going to have a dream, you need to follow it. If you want to be a certain type of woman, you have to start acting like that woman already. There's no like process. Akira still had a style secret to share, and she's about to reveal it on screen. So to start our video, I'm going to show you guys how to get this turban look over here. You're going to need a large square scarf and you're going to fold it with diagonal points meeting. You're going to have the middle point at the front of your face with the two opposite sides on either shoulder. Using the sides of the scarf on your left and right hand side, knot them over each other over the front flap until they're flopping on either side of you. Then, pulling the side ends forward and the pointed flap back, you're going to catch the pointed flap by twisting the side ends and pulling them backward, tucking them behind. Simply secure it in the nape of your neck for a snug fit. A great turban is only as good as its silhouette.